Though many Facebook users have probably never set foot on a farm, an increasing number have been spending a large amount of their time online harvesting virtual crops. KUJH TV's Lindsay Cleek reports on this new gaming phenomenon. Since its launch in June 2009, Farmville has become the most popular application on Facebook. In the online game, users plant and harvest crops to earn money to improve and expand on their farms. Users can also send things like trees and farm animals to their neighbors. In November 2009, there were approximately 300 million registered Facebook users, and more than 63 million of those played Farmville. The second most popular application is Causes, with only 35 million users. Some of these virtual farmers recognize the game's addictive qualities. I do not have the greatest time management skills, and uh, that's a reason why Farmville, for me anyways, um, can be a bit of a problem. Dr. Earl Knowlton is a professor at KU School of Education. He has a special interest in education technology. Professor Knowlton says, that games like Farmville use specific technology that make them especially appealing to those with addictive personalities. These games and whatnot, they're highly motivating, they're very, very, uh, uh, you know, quick um, um, uh, satisfaction in terms of, you know, what you're desiring to do. It's a click or a couple of clicks or keystrokes away. It happens in, almost instantly. There's no surprise whatsoever that these things uh, are, are at best appealing and at worst addicting. I got a piggy. Not everyone who uses Farmville considers it a distraction. Some users just see the game as a good way to pass the time and interact with friends online. It's just a fun little game to do when you're bored and have nothing else to do. Addicting or not, Farmville isn't going anywhere. Founder Mark Pincus has now created Farmville.com for users to play the game independently of Facebook. Lindsay Cleek, KJH TV News.